We'll stand, please, everyone. She reaches out her hands to the needy and extends her arms to the poor. She did not eat her food in idleness. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, on this memorial of St. Monica, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of St. Monica, for the conversion of her son Augustine, grant us through the intercession of them both that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever, amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we ask and urge you in the Lord Jesus that as you learn from us how you ought to live and to please God, as in fact you are doing, you should do so more and more. For you know that what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus, for this is, this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from fornication, that each one of you know how to control your own body in holiness and honor, not with lustful passion, like the Gentiles who do not know God, that no one wrong or, or, that no one wrong or exploit a brother or sister in this matter because the Lord is an avenger in all these things, just as we have already told you beforehand and solemnly warned you. For God did not call us to impurity, but to holiness. Therefore, whoever rejects this rejects not human authority, but God, who also gives his Holy Spirit to you. The word of the Lord. Our response, let the just rejoice in the Lord. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. Let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness, and all the peoples behold his glory. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful. He rescues them from the hand of the wicked. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Let the just rejoice in the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told this parable to his disciples. The kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. When the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. But at midnight there was a shout, Look, here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those bridesmaids got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, No, there will not be enough for you and for us. You had better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went with him into the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later, the other bridesmaids came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I tell you, I do not know you. Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord One could speculate that Augustine probably thought his mother was a bit of a pest, bothering him about the Catholic faith, following him here and there with tears, praying for his conversion. She was always around probably maybe came to that point of realizing that prayer and sacrifice was going to be far more beneficial than constantly nagging him. But he knew how desperately she felt about her faith. She had received the oil of grace that filled her being. But she also realized she could not give that oil to her son. That oil, as the gospel reminds us today, that oil that's needed to light our lamps, to keep our heart aflamed with the sanctifying grace of God inside our souls. She was filled. She had it. Her lamp was lit, but she could not light his from her oil because we can't do that. Only God can do that. And so she did what she could. She prayed and prayed and prayed. She sacrificed and sacrificed and sacrificed for her son. Her desire was, of course, so beautiful that, that her conversion of her son. It was her son who finally turned to God and said, please enkindle the heart of my life and make me become a flame of love for you. That's how it all happened. That's how it has to happen for all of us. As much as, I don't know about you, having any family members who don't practice their faith, who are not receiving the Holy Eucharist, and the Eucharist is the greatest gift that God can offer us. It's his very self. It's what is essential for us to be fulfilled in our divine filiation, in our participation and adoption into the divine nature of, our, of the Holy Trinity. Without it, there is no communion, because we're a communion of spirit and flesh, not just spirit. We need to be together in flesh. So the Holy Eucharist is not simply optional for our relationship with God. It is essential for our relationship with God. And so we want people to have that gift of the Holy Eucharist. I want my family to have it, and I pray for many family members who aren't practicing their faith, who do not receive the Holy Eucharist, who don't have a clue as to what the Holy Eucharist is really all about. And I'm sure you're praying for family members too. Good, let's just keep praying and never giving up. In desperation, we pray for their conversions. In desperation. Like St. Monica, we would love to be able to share the oil of grace that God has given us, but we can't. We can't. I can't give somebody else faith. Only God can give them faith. Only God can give them sanctifying grace. Only God can give them divine love, divine hope. I can only pray and tell people how much it's changed my life and made me love God and my neighbors even more. That's all I can do. That's, that's what God wants me to do, and that's what Monica did. And she followed her son and 
prayed for her son, cried for her son, sacrificed for her son, until finally Augustine turned to God and said, give me the oil I need to light the lamp inside of me. And he became one of the greatest bishops, fathers of the church, a great saint whose today his writings, his teachings are still fulfilling us and will until the end of time. We'll stand everyone and we'll continue today. Lord, before you we place our prayers, praying for the needs of the church, praying for the, our family of parishes, for the many intentions of the members of the family of our parishes, we pray to the Lord. For the conversion of family, friends, enemies, for many through the intercession of St. Monica, that they will come to the fulfillment of faith in Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Continuing our prayers, this time of vacation, people traveling, even people getting ready for universities and schools and things like this, we'll pray for these preparations and travel, we pray to the Lord. Today's Mass is being offered for Claire Doyle, for Joanne Meyer, and for Michelle McMillan. And remembering all of our deceased, that they rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Father of mercy, we offer our prayers through your Son, Jesus, God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We bring you these sacrificial gifts, O Lord, to commemorate Blessed Saint Monica, humbly entreating that they may bestow on us both pardon and salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Monica and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis our Pope, and Ronald Peter our Bishop, Joseph his auxiliary, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summon before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant who travels in search of fine pearls and who, on finding one of great price, sold everything and bought it.
Let us pray. May the working of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, almighty God, on this feast day of blessed St. Monica, that we may be ever fervent with holy desires and abound in good works through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.